Hello, welcome to Curries for Every Kitchen and I'm Shobha. Can you believe it is already October? That means holidays are fast approaching. I just want to show you some of my family's favorite recipes. It's pretty traditional American recipes. They are converted into a little bit of Indian palate with a little spice. Today I'm going to show you a roasted chicken with curry butter. To make a curry butter, first what I want to do is I want to turn the my oven on to 350 degrees and next thing I'm going to do is I prepare my pan with lined with aluminum foil for easy cleaning that I'll bet it'll help you a lot when you try to clean this pan so and I have a rack to put the chicken and now I'm going to make some curry butter um, you can use regular butter for this, what I use is, I use solidified olive oil that you find it in your grocery stores in the dairy section. I use this because just, you know, like, just to be a little health conscious. If you want to, you always, you can use regular butter. I'm going to have two tablespoons of this. And by the way, I have a pound pound and a half a chicken. That's a pretty small size chicken. That's why I'm going to use two tablespoons. And if you want to use a little bigger chicken, and you can use a little more butter to it. And then what I did was, when I got the chicken, I washed it totally. And I stood it on a little metal container, so all the water would drain out. The, the best thing you can do for fried chicken, I mean roast chicken, is take off all the wetness off of it. So you don't want to mix the butter and the wetness together. It will steam the chicken. It won't roast the chicken. So I am draining all the water off and then I'm going to use a paper towel to pat it dry. So let's make curry butter. I got two tablespoons of olive oil. Right here solid, solid olive oil. It's a butter flavor so you don't miss anything at all. And then I have one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. To that I grated one small onion, so like one tablespoon of onion. So it's basically the same flavors that you use in curry that I'm going to mix in with the butter. So these will help to spice up the chicken instead of just butter. To that, I got my masala daba and I'm going to use my usual suspects. I have a, a half a teaspoon of coriander ground coriander and a half a teaspoon of ground cumin and a whole teaspoon of ground cayenne and a pinch of turmeric for color and then another half a teaspoon of garam masala. Now I'm going to mix this all together very well. There's your curry butter. If you want it, you can make more and put it in the freezer and then you can use it every time you want it. And if, if you use just roast some potatoes with this, this is so yummy. Now, I got a paper towel. I'm going to pack my chicken dry totally. Because I don't want any moisture in my chicken. the glass out. I'm going to do the same thing with the insides also so I won't have any moisture at all in the chicken. I don't want my chicken to be steamed. I want my chicken to be roasted. Up 
after that, I'm going to take my curry butter and I'm going to rub all over my chicken inside out in the skins like that. Okay, my curry butter is rubbed all over the chicken, both sides, inside and out. And then I even took my fingers and put it inside under the skin on top of the breast the curry chicken. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt. I have maybe one tablespoon of salt here. And this will nicely adhere to the chicken. To that I'm going to put some freshly ground black pepper. I'm also going to put some little paprika. Paprika is just to give you a nice, nice bright red color. Now, I have my pan prepared with the aluminum foil layer underneath. I also have some vegetables prepared at the same time. I have here a few fingerling potatoes, a little bit of salt sprinkled on them, and then a few peppers and few parsnips, all cut into almost the same sizes of them. And I'm going to put all my vegetables down on my pan, kind of spread them out, and like that. On top of that, I'm going to put my rack. And I'm going to transfer my chicken into the pan. I'm going to put bottom side down. The reason is I just want to put a salt on the back side of it too. And same thing with the crushed pepper. And paprika. Now, both sides of the chicken is well seasoned. I'm turning it back towards the outside. And what I did was I took chicken tips, wing tips, and tucked it under the chicken so they won't get burned because wing tips are very delicate. They get burned very much. Now, my chicken. My oven is preheated to 350. And I'm going to put my chicken in the oven for anywhere between 45 minutes to 50 minutes depend upon all the juices run clear of the chicken. Okay, 45 minutes are up and our chicken is ready, all roasted. I took the chicken out and I tanted with a little foil so it will keep a little warm and also when you are cooking all the chicken juices are bubbling up. If you rest it a little while, all the all the juices will settle back into the meat and you'll have a juicy chicken. Now, I have a little plate with a little bread of lettuce. And I'm going to take these vegetables that we roasted along with the chicken. And I'm going to put them right on the plate. You make sure you scrape off all these little juicy bits that's browned. Those are the tasty ones. Once you got them all of them out, okay. Now, is you guys ready for this chicken? There you go. Our curry butter roasted chicken, along with fingerling potatoes.
there you go and you can see it's nice and juicy still and it's a little bit spicy and crusty and wouldn't you like to have this for your Thanksgiving table?